Hello, welcome to This Old Geek. I'm Mike Esker, and welcome to part two of making uh, my Egyptian cat, Bastet. After I had completely covered the sculpture with uh, the homemade paper clay, I then proceeded to do the features and the ears with creative clay that I had left over. Here I have dipped my fingers into some water and I'm smoothing it out. It's important that you do that to get it as smooth as you can. Now the rest of the body, I am using Sculpey Air Dry Clay. Not to be confused with Sculpey Polymer Clay, which needs to be baked. The Air Dry Clay does not need to be. It Just like it says, it dries in the air. So I'm getting the body completely covered, and I'm dipping my fingers in water and getting it all smoothed out as best as I can. I'm getting the entire body covered. I decided to use the Sculpey Air Dry Clay instead of uh, covering it with uh, the drywall compound like I usually do. So I wanted this to be nice and smooth, as smooth as I can possibly get it. And I don't think it was going to happen with uh, just using a drywall compound. So I'm getting it all covered with the Sculpey Air Dry Clay down here on the bottom. And I do the bottom of the feet. This is how I am doing the ears with the Sculpey Air Dry Clay. I just roll it out, cut it to shape. Do that for both ears. I put it onto the ears that are on the head, making sure you get it wet first so it sticks on there. And I'm just cutting it with a knife to shape. And then I use a knife to cut the grooves for the uh, for that inlaid gold look. And I do the same for the other ear. And this is what it looks like when I'm finished. As you see, I put clay around the edges there to make a border around each ear. Now I'm sanding nice and smooth, starting with uh, some coarse sandpaper, like a 60 grit, and then gradually just doing a finer sandpaper. I highly recommend that uh, you do this in a well-ventilated area, preferably outside. You should wear a mask even though you don't see me doing that, and I apologize for that. After I get it as smooth as I want, I use a very fine, like a 320, to get it even smoother. Now once I got it all sanded and I wipe off all the uh, dust and get my area all cleaned up, I start painting it with some uh, acrylic gesso, which is the primer. And here I am painting the ears. This is gold leaf that I am painting the inside of the ears with. So do that very carefully. And I do a couple coats on each ear. Now here I am... Uh, Painting the black, doing that very carefully around the ears. This is just acrylic craft paint that I am using. This is uh, this black is a matte finish. I'm going to be covering this with a gloss finish afterwards, so I didn't need to have glossy black. So I get that whole body covered. For the eyes, I just drew them onto some paper and uh, colored them with color pencil, cut them out and just glued them onto the uh, face there because I did not mold them onto the head. Uh, I was going to just paint them on, but that would be a little too difficult, so I just did it this way. I just wanted, you know, it looks kind of cartoony, I guess, but I just wanted it to fit in with my other creations. 
I put on a couple coats of Mod Podge gloss uh, as a finish. And I also made that collar there, which are just, you know, bells that you use for crafts. And that's craft uh, gold wire. And I thought it looked pretty neat. I just had, it, I just used what I had on hand, which is what I do quite often. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And have a wonderful day.